462 that heads north out of the small Catalonian town of Solsona and then heads up towards the village of San Lorenzo de Maruni and beyond could well be the best driving road you've never heard of. It was built during the 1990s when Spain's economy was flourishing and its main purpose was to provide access to the dam at Losa de Cabal that was completed in 1997. The dam was meant to provide hydroelectric power for much of the region, but then Spain's economy floundered and the power station never got built, which means the C-462 no longer has any real purpose in life, given that there are far easier roads on which to travel north-south or vice versa in Catalonia. But it also means the C-462 is pretty much deserted for most of the year, despite it being one of the most beautifully maintained and just plain brilliant pieces of road you could ever wish to stumble across. You've basically got three different sections of this road. The first one is really kind of open and fluid and fast. Just really great to drive on with a really, really nice road surface as well. And, and the road has this lovely natural rhythm through the countryside. Then what I'd call sector two gets a lot twistier, but it's still quite nice and wide. You get all these mad tunnels coming out here. into the mountains, much nearer to the Pyrenees, and then it just goes absolutely crackers. For the first 20 kilometers or so, the C462 feels a bit like a fast roller coaster ride, with bridges and tunnels and incredible sequences of corners that fly towards you seemingly unbroken. But then there's a momentary break in the action at the beautiful 11th century village of San Lorenzo de Marigny, on the outskirts of which are various fonts to stop and ponder the joys of life at, all of which feed off the Cardona River that flows throughout the Valley of Lord. Another five or so kilometres beyond San Lorenzo, again heading north, the road then changes dramatically. The surface remains just as perfectly maintained as before, but the road itself becomes much narrower, much more twisty, and even more of a challenge to drive on. Proper, proper driver's road, this one. So you need a proper little driver's car on it, ideally. And it goes on like this for mile after mile after mile until eventually the madness pauses again momentarily. I'm at a Nordic ski retreat that sits at over six and a half thousand feet above sea level, right at the very top of the mountains. The view up here is spectacular. On a clear day you can see pretty much the entire length of the Pyrenees. The C-462 then continues in a similar vein for another 45 fairly crazed kilometres, winding its way manically past the village of Tuxient, Cornelana and El Gez before finally coming to an end in one of the region's biggest towns at La Sue d'Urgel. And at that point, you should probably take a well-earned rest from this most incredible of roads because the journey back down to Solsona is if anything even madder still, because most of it is downhill rather than up. Who, who designs these roads in the first place? They're just brilliant, they really are absolutely brilliant. So just as we said at the beginning, the C462 could be the best road in Europe you've never heard of. Until now.